Here we're exploring the similar matrix theorem. Now for this theorem, we want to let A and B be n by n matrices such that matrix A is similar to matrix B. Then with these conditions, the following hold true. So property A says that the determinant of matrix A is equal to the determinant of matrix B. Property B says that matrix A is invertible if and only if matrix B is invertible. Property C tells us that matrix A and matrix B have the same rank. Property D tells us that matrix A and matrix B have the same characteristic polynomial. Property E tells us that matrix A and matrix B have the same eigenvalues. Property F tells us that matrix A raised to the mth power is similar to matrix B raised to the mth power for all positive integers n. And last but not least, property G tells us that if matrix A is invertible, then matrix A to the mth power is similar to matrix B to the mth power for all integers m. Now, before we go ahead and explore these properties of similar matrices with some examples, I want to make a couple of important notes. Now, the first note I want to make is a cautionary piece of advice. So, caution! Two distinct matrices may have all of the properties that we just saw in this theorem, but this does not imply that they are similar. We want to be careful here. The similar matrix theorem makes the assumption at the beginning that matrix A and matrix B are similar, and then those properties hold true. However, the reverse does not necessarily hold true. And we can easily verify this with the example, say matrix A is equal to the two by two matrix one zero zero one, and matrix B is equal to the two by two matrix one zero one one. Now matrix A and matrix B both have a determinant of one. They have a rank of two. They're both invertible. They have a characteristic polynomial of one minus lambda squared and they both have eigenvalues, lambda sub one equals lambda sub two equals one. So all of these properties are holding true, but matrix A is not similar to matrix B, since the inverse of matrix P times matrix A times matrix P is equal to the inverse of P times the identity matrix times matrix P, which equals the identity matrix, but that's not equal to matrix B for any invertible matrix P. So again, we want to be mindful that even when these properties hold true, it does not necessarily imply that the two distinct matrices are similar. So with this illustration, our final little love note is that the similar matrix theorem is actually the most useful in showing that two matrices are not similar. So in order to show that two matrices are not similar, all we need to do is show that one of the seven properties of the similar matrix theorem fails to hold. So let's go ahead now and explore these properties with some examples.